This is Buy, Hold, Sell for Supercoach AFL Round 9. Brought to you by Blundstone Rotoflex. Put our innovation to work. The most traded in player this week is Darcy Jones, small forward at the Giants. This is an easy one. He scored 70 and 75 in his first two games, got a break even of negative 75, so he's about to make a heap of money. And if you're ready to trade out someone like Sam Darcy at the Bulldogs, who might have maxed out in terms of his cash, Darcy Jones is an easy one to bring in. Now, Clayton Oliver is the really interesting one. It's hard to know if he's really back to his best. He had a great score last weekend, but obviously he's had a pretty rough season. But at that price, he's lost almost $200,000 from his starting value. I think we can take the risk. I will be holding Tom Green this week. When he went down early in the derby last weekend, I thought he's going to be a trade-out for sure, but he's listed as a fitness test on the Giants injury list, so he might play this weekend. Even if he doesn't, just put him on the bench. Hopefully we've got some cover, someone to bring on just for the one week. I don't want to use a trade now, then use another trade to bring him back in later on in the season. And my other hold for the week is more of a watch, really, just to stop and think before we trade him out, because I still might end up moving on Matt Roberts. But... He's got a high break even this week, but I still think he's a good scorer to have on field, and I'd be reluctant to take him out if it means bringing on a rookie who's much less reliable in terms of their on-field scoring. But having said that, he's worth a lot of money. He might have to go. A must-sell for me this week is Massimo D'Ambrosio at the Hawks. Not sure exactly what Sam Mitchell's doing with his game time, but he was subbed out two weeks ago, came back in, and basically didn't play in the last quarter. He may as well have been subbed out on the weekend, so it makes it very hard to score. His cash generation has dried up. He's ready to move on in the back line. And the other one I would be trading is Elliot Yo. Again, not 100% sure on his injury. He could potentially play this weekend, but we know what his injury history is like. Adam Simpson had already talked about potentially resting him at some stage, so you think that's going to be at the forefront of their mind at the Eagles now to try and get him through the season. He's been going so well. If you started him, fantastic starting pick. He's made over 150000 I'd be cashing him in now and using that money to pretty much get any defender you like. <laughs>